Bluff School District. I'm the proud superintendent of this district, Pine Bluff Public Schools here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. We invite you every month to have coffee with the superintendent. I want to just highlight some of the great things that are happening in our school district. Uh, for example, this month we have our Winter Wonderland, which I am so excited about. Many years ago, prior to me coming to Pine Bluff, uh, I heard so much about Follies. Um, never had the experience of being a part of that. Um, we're certainly not trying to replicate anything, but I wanted to do something that was going to be a wholesome uh, event for the community. And certainly, um, we're inviting everyone. It is free. Uh, all of our churches, uh, our entire community, all of Jefferson County, we invite you to come to the Pine Bluff Convention Center on Thursday, December 14th. That is next Thursday. Don't forget, next Thursday, December the 14th at 6 o'clock p.m. I want to also highlight our STEAM Fair we are so excited because last year we had the STEAM Fair at the Convention Center and packed the house. I am inviting all of our community to please come out and, and be a part of this again this year. The location has not yet been determined, but the date has been set and it is going to be on Tuesday, February the 6th. Tuesday, February the 6th, 2018. Can you believe it? 2018 is almost here. It's hard to believe, but it's almost here. 2018 from 6 to 7 p.m. And we will have more information coming. But I'm saying this early because I want parents to begin to start helping our scholars and start partnering with us. Last year, it was so wonderful to see parents actually in the classroom helping their scholars, our scholars, to be a part of the STEAM Fair. And I'm looking forward to another fantastic, phenomenal year at our STEAM Fair. Again, that is Tuesday, February the 6th, 2018. Also, Broadmoor Elementary School, which is a STEAM school, is going to be having a luncheon on uh, December the 14th next Thursday from 12 to 1 o'clock p.m. at the school and we're inviting all of our parents to be a part of that showcase that is next Thursday December 14th at Broadmoor Elementary School from 12 to 1 during lunch also can you say Freedom School we are having a phenomenal time with Freedom School um, we got our test data back from Freedom School and let me tell you something, I am so proud of Pine Bluff School District scholars because reading levels advanced two and three grade levels as a result of the work that our interns have been doing. And so I want to say kudos to Mr. Uh, Zachary Lewis who heads that initiative. And let me tell you something, if your child is not a part of Freedom School, I would encourage you to get them in Freedom School because it really focuses very heavily on literacy, which ultimately impacts all content areas. But Freedom School is actually uh, doing a really exciting adventure this, uh, this month. This is the month of love. And so as a part of the National uh, Children's Defense um, uh, our, uh, Association, and so this month they are going to be providing the youth in our community, some of the youth in our community, uh, with gifts of love. And so they will be uh, providing uh, canned goods and just different items that some of our children who are in need of, that they will be able to get some of these items.
just had the opportunity to see a very quick snippet of the championship football game um, where um, our football players had the opportunity to make it to the championship and showdown was on last Friday. Let me tell you something. Even though our football team did not win on the field, they are still our champions and we will be celebrating them on this coming Thursday uh, at 4 o'clock when the city of Pine Bluff has a parade to celebrate the winning football team. We have the best football team in the whole state of Arkansas. Believe that. And next year we'll see them again back on that same championship field. I want to remind our parents that uh, school ends on this um, December the 15th. Uh, so vacation does not start until Monday, December the 18th, and scholars are to return back to school on Wednesday, January 3rd, uh, 2018. I am so excited. I tell you, I can't believe that this year is almost out. 2018 is almost here. But I want us to focus very heavily on doing on charity work and doing something positive for somebody even if they're not less fortunate it may just be that you call someone and you encourage them you give the gift of love whatever that looks like whatever that may feel like whatever that may sound like but i encourage you to reach out to somebody during this holiday season having lost my father four years ago I know that this time can be a very, very uh, difficult time um, trying to uh, still smile in the midst of the fact that you have lost that loved one. Uh, there'll be many plates that may not be turned over this year at the table uh, in, in honor of those that have gone uh, on to a, a better place. But I want to say on behalf of the Pine Bluff School District, our Board of Education, our administrative office, on behalf of us, we want to say to all of you, thank you for allowing us to come into your homes. Thank you for watching us on your phones. Thank you for just taking the time to listen to our monthly broadcast each month that we do uh, uh, coffee with the superintendent. I want you to know that we are looking so forward to 2018 and when we come back in January we're going to be hitting the ground running with a lot of our literacy initiatives uh, some of our district initiatives but I want to say to everyone have a wonderful holiday season uh, Merry Christmas and certainly I, I certainly say to you Happy New Year